We are in the thick of wedding season, so it's a good time to tackle those etiquette questions from can I bring a plus one to what should I wear? Here to help us with questions from both sides, the happy couple and the guests is Amy Vallejo of Anticipate Wedding and Event Planning. Thank you for coming Hi. in. Thanks so for having times me. have changed. That's yes. the main thing, right? Yes. Not yes. your grandmother's wedding. No. So um, what should we kind of think about beforehand in terms of the couple and the event and kind of cluing into the vibe of the of the event itself? Yeah, well, definitely times have changed. Weddings are becoming more personalized and more customizable. It's not your grandma's wedding. It's not even my wedding anymore. <laughs> times have changed that much. So with that, etiquette has loosened a little bit. Um, you're seeing, you know, things like sending gifts in advance instead of, of bringing a heavy KitchenAid mixer right. to the wedding. Um, brides are choosing color now instead of a white gown so that, you know, do guests wear white to the wedding? Is that okay? Things like that. So is it? It is, yeah. I'm seeing people, cream tones, that kind of thing. It's just, it's become a little bit more loose. I think in general, always a good thought is to have general tact guidelines, common sense, don't show up to a wedding in a t-shirt and ripped jeans, right. you know. Maybe not the bright white, etc. Right, yeah. Okay, so invitations. Um, so the guests should know that if it's just addressed to them that it's not a plus one? Correct, yes. If it says and guest, then you can bring then a go guest. For if it. it says and family, you can bring all of the members in your family. Yes. Very good. Yes. We're still honoring RSVP dates. Absolutely. That's the important. due date is huge, yes, because the guest or the couple has so much to do after planning right. table counts, escort cards, all of those things. So and they don't want to waste that. money on dinners exactly. that they're not doing. Yes. Um, for the couples, you say six to eight months is a good time to do the save the date. Yes, yes. It Give allows people some time to plan. Yes, if there's travel involved, people can reserve that date on their calendar, start making travel arrangements, that kind of thing. So earlier the better is always a good note. Mm -hmm. And then RSVP time, about four weeks. Yes. Give yep. people some time. Yes. Um, adding stamps to response cards. Is yes. that a yes or no? Are you doing that? You definitely I add love the stamp. That idea. Yes. Yeah. Never I mean, make your guests. we always did. I just didn't know yes. if it still That is a big went. etiquette no-no. Don't make your guests pay for the response card. So where should you write down your registry or let people know where you're registered for gifts? Yeah, so that's changing too. And even when I got married, we put that in the invitation mm -hmm. and that has changed. Nowadays, the wedding website is so much more of an um, you know, an extension of the invitation. Right. So all of those details are put in a, on a wedding website, uh, attire, gift registry, all of those things. Directions, so, all yes. could, and sometimes Unless their it, story of how they met, there's some cool things that right. can, can happen that way. Yeah. Okay, so technology, uh, yes. well, let me back up, registry. What do you think? I always buy a gift off the registry because I think that's what they want, right? Yes. But somebody may want to give something else. How should you think about that as a guest? Yeah, I mean, I think thoughtful gifts are always king, really. I mean, the get, the couple sets up a registry, um, and nowadays the registry has even changed where it's charities or right. stock investments, you know, all or of a these fun for a honeymoon fun or experiences a house. for the honeymoon. So keep those in mind. A lot of those can still be very personal yeah. gifts, but you know, if you're a grandma and you know the couple and have something special that's passed down through family generations, you know, thoughtful gifts are good. always Makes sense. Yeah, a good idea. Okay, technology. You, uh, <laughs> you have your phone, <laughs> yes. you brought it to the yes. wedding. What do you do with it? Um, turn it off, turn it down. Can you take pictures? Tell me yes. the whole phone thing. Well, nowadays your phone has everything, right? It's your phone, your camera, your video recorder. So um, a trend right now is an unplugged wedding because phones are coming out and such a big etiquette no-no to pull your phone out or an iPad in the air, oh you my know. Goodness. The couple spends a lot of time and investment in finding the perfect photographer, and nothing is worse than getting your photos back. And during your vows, there's a huge iPad, you know, or a phone in the <laughs> aisle or something that. like that. So for guests, really being cognizant and aware of where the photographer is right. and not taking, being discreet, if it is, you know, an unplugged wedding, then silencing the cell phones for the 
couple making sure that there's signage out that indicates that or it's in the programs having the ushers remind guests as they're yes. seating you know so please silence turn off your cell is. phone yeah exactly okay. quickly um, kids at weddings if it says no kids then no kids right yeah if it yeah. says no kids I mean um, I have yeah. sometimes you lose your your you know child yeah. care at the last moment of this right stuff. Yeah. Um, we talked about dress code, gift registry. Okay, great. Thank you notes. Yes. How long does a couple have to these days to, to send the thank you notes within the, the area of that? Yeah, I mean, after the wedding is a very busy time, and sometimes yes. there's a little bit of wedding hangover. You just don't want to touch the wedding. Two weeks is generally a great rule of thumb. You have, you know, up until three months after. Mm -hmm. Of course, any thank you note that's even sent past that time is always, always accepted and appreciated. Yes. But yeah, that's good. This helps us yeah. be a good guest and a and a good you yeah. know, thrower of a wedding. Yes. If you're a, a parent or a bride yes. or groom, thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, we'll be right back.